Coming up in today's Maelstrom of Lore. Dad, do I love the Emperor? <laughs> no! Oh, no! I love the Emperor. Uh, 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 did I love the Emperor at one point, maybe? No. no. As well as... No. no. Uh, giant Orc. No. no. Love Chaos. No. no. Greater Good. No. no. That's all there is. No. 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 Eldar. No. No. And also... Some humans just don't want to live in this awful Imperium. There's a lot of words. That doesn't sound right. There's a lot. This is the Maelstrom of Lore. Welcome to Mini Lore Gaming. This is another segment where we play a game. Now, Matt is going to be the games master, and he's going to run us through the game. Matthew? So this first game is called Mini Mind Meld. <laughs> it's where you put uh, head things around, as thing, like band-like things around your head. <laughs> so the goal here yeah, it's a headband. you're saying it's a headband it's it, you are wearing headbands I'm okay sure. um, and we're playing mini mini mind melt so mind that, essentially i have a i have a fantastic timer here which i probably won't use i'll probably give you more time than one i'll probably give you two of them how much time is that i think it's a minute it's a little minute timer we're but gonna we, need more we don't have to worry about that and the, your goal is you have a stack of of, of um cards in front of you and it's probably way more than you're going to need by far. And essentially, every one of them is a faction unit. So, like for example, and it won't be this won't be one of yours, a Tyranid Termagant, or it might be a named character. You're allowed to ask yes or no questions, um, except the, well, you know, I'm not going to put any exa uh, no, no exceptions on this. I think it's going to be hard enough. Okay, so and you're just going to do as many as you can. So if you get it right, you take it off and you put the next one on. And you see how many you can get before the time is up. And I'll give you two of these, like two minutes each. Okay? Okay. And if we have time, we'll get Steve to play as well. <laughs> but we just won't show the camera what it is. Nah. And he'll have to guess. Well. All right. So uh, let's let's start with Josh. Are you right, Josh? Sure. Okay. Okay. You ready? Go. All right. Do I do I love the Emperor? No. You. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> hard no. I, You're very indifferent. Am I, uh, I'm indifferent. I will say indifferent. Yes or no? Yes or yeah, no? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Am I a Xenos race? Yeah. Yes. Uh, am I a member of a Xenos race that Josh personally doesn't like very much? No. Probably. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> not, not That's a weird question. Not pertain okay, to me. Okay. Um, it's also um, weird you referred to yourself in the third person. I'm, I know. I, I that, do that. That's a lot. weird. Do I maybe have a body made out of metal? No. No. Mm. Something mm. different. Completely different. Am I typical? Am I usually? Am I usually the color green? Think, think noodles. No. <laughs> oh, dude. Do, do I know how to speak? A language not with that probably not understand. Not with a mouth. Um, okay, okay, that's half your time. Okay. Um, <laughs> see if you just get am one. I, uh, you think a lot. Uh, <laughs> Top <laughs> kind of clue. <laughs> oh, yes or no am answers. I, am I a zone throat? No. No. Oh, well, don't. yes, but you're not quite am there. Am I a neuro throat? Yeah. Oh, get the next one. Throat. Next one. Next one. You still have time. It's, see if you get two. It's very Stop difficult. giving them clues, it's Luca. Hard, man. Don't give clues. Yes or no? Just all the answer. Don't forget to tilt your head down. Okay, do, do I love the emperor? <laughs> no. No. Oh, why did I love the emperor? Uh, um, uh, did I love the emperor at one point, maybe? No. Oh, 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 perhaps, but probably uh, not. Uh, am I a uh, uh, Zeno? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, I probably didn't love the emperor then. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> am I now? Am I now? The color green usually? Nope. Think noodles. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Am I a, a, a ravener? No. Uh, no. A hive tyrant? No. no. Um, hmm. Time. Hmm. <laughs> You're an exocrine. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I can't so remember hard. what that was. That's, that's, so the, that's the shooting one. one. I know. Okay, you got the one. Big artillery. Yeah, like one go. and a half. I got, I got one, so I can take right. it off now? Yeah, you can take it off now. Okay. All right, Dave. You got, to, you got to beat one. Okay. Can you beat one? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. And no more clues. All right. All right. I'll keep on. No more clues. Yes, uh, yes and no. If you look desperate saying... enough, if you look desperate enough, you get pity clues. He'll, he'll look desperate. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. And go. Is it chaos? No. No. <sighs> okay. Uh, Imperium? Nope. nope. No. Xenos? Yes. yes. Orcs? Yes. 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 Ooh. Is it a troop choice? No. Is it battle line? No. 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 Elite? Yeah, you know what? That wouldn't help me anyway. No, it uh, not. That nobody, <laughs> I got a 32 mil face. Nobody was. Yeah, you are. Uh, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Muda boy. Muda. Yeah. 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 Next one. Next one. Oh, next one. Yeah. Put it up. Okay. 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 Uh, oh, okay. We did. We did, we did shuffle. No. We did not, no. <laughs> not shuffle. Is it orc again? Yes. Yes. 
Is it all orcs? No, no. I hope not. I, okay. I shuffled so the weird boy. I don't think Matt shuffled. I'm gonna shuffle. I did. I did. HQ, HQ. No. Is that okay? So it's it's a big. Is it the gorgon? No. 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 I can't do it quick enough to know. Uh, oh, is it a stompa? No. No. Am I mechanical? No. Think chemical. Stop. Uh, pain boy? <laughs> no. No. No, it still didn't help. Uh, <laughs> it's, you got a sore arm. It's more this. confusing than it is. <laughs> okay, halfway time. Ah. You're doing well. You already got one. Is it like 50 mil base? No. Uh, no. no. 28, 25. Just look somewhere around there. Eyes somewhere around there. Don't, no, don't, you're not like Is it orc boy? Down. You said think chemical. It could be just like any orc. Yeah, okay. So, narrow like, it down. Who likes to use chemicals? Stop it, Luca. <laughs> that doesn't it. help me, Matt. I don't know it well enough. <laughs> it's just. Is that a grot? No. no. And it's not a pain boy. No. Yeah, or a mech boy. No. no. There's one more type of boy. That is true. An orc boy? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No. There's a word Not before quite. the boy. It's Weird a. boy? No. Nope. You said that one more time. No, there's I lied. There's two more types of boys. Right out of time. Ah. One more type of boy. They <laughs> love chemicals. They like to... Buster, pain buster. Uh, <laughs> burn up, boy. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't know if I should award that. You gave him the answer. <laughs> just that, and just yeah, a, he didn't give me. He said, Burn. "Yeah, okay." So we have a tie, one-one. You did so well at the first one. Now let me see yours. Make sure that I've been shuffling them. Yeah, to make sure that you're just not going to get the same species over and over again. Did, does everyone know what I got on my head? I do. Yeah, so yeah, if I yeah. lean, okay, yeah, you're good. You're good. So yours are nice and mixed. And it's possible you guys are mixed too. You just didn't get past two of them. All right, I'm ready for you to start the official time. All right, you ready? Hold on. Look at me again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go. Do I love the Imperium? No. 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 Do I have a metal body? No. no. All right. Am I as Xenos? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, do I love the greater good? No. 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 Okay. Oh, do I have green flesh and love to hit things with my hands? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I follow the biggest and the baddest? In Always. The okay. Uh, do I? Am I a little bit more gorky or am I a little bit more morky? Ooh. Uh, is that a yes or no? These are not. That's your gork, possibly mork. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Do I like to fidget with tools? No. 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 Do I like to shoot guns? Yeah. A bit. Yes. Am I a knob? Nope. A mega knob? Nope. nope. Am I a flash kit? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Dang it. Uh, am I a vehicle? Yes. Yes. Kind of. Oh, am I a really big vehicle? Nope. nope. Am I just like, halftime? Am I a truck? No. Nope. Am I a battle wagon? No. Nope. Oh my gosh. Uh, am I a grot in a vehicle? No. 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 <laughs> am I a death thread? No. 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 Dang. Uh, uh, ooh, am I a s weird boy? Uh, no. Nope. No. I don't oh, know. What were you about to say? Warboss? boss? No. 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 Boar boy. That's not a boar. That's something else. That's something different. Uh, Kamikaze. Commando? No. Nope. No. Dang. All right. I feel like you're circling it. I know. Am I that close? No. Yeah. You, well, you, you, were, you were kind of close for a little while. Dang, and then, and then you left cold, it. Yeah. Cold on cold now. Eh? Yeah. Like keep, keep, keep guessing. Apparently, this where, is really where hard. Did I, where was I warmest? That's not yes or no. Oh, okay. Uh, vehicle. What, the, the, talking about kind vehicles, of. Kind of. Uh, mech? No. No. Talking about vehicle. Oh, ooh, a DACA jet? No. Am I flying? Or am I going to get zero? Ground. Time is. Pressure. Think noodles. <laughs> Time's up. What is it? A war biker. Oh dang it's it! A vehicle, it's a vehicle. Vehicle, technically, right. yeah, it's a vehicle. It doesn't have the vehicle keyword. Well, that's why I was like, like okay, so like, yes, there's right? a vehicle, but like this is the lore show. It's not like the like yeah, the rules. Right. Show. You weren't even on the radar. So, like, I completely keyword. forgot they. Yeah, a bike is a vehicle. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, so Steve's gonna have a turn now. Except I'm not gonna show the camera, so I apologize, camera. Uh, I can you, turn away. No, I, you could Blair Witch. Yeah, close yeah, I'll, your eyes I'll for a turn minute. Away. Turn away? I don't know if you'll, they'll be able to see it. Are you doing the main cam? Like, which one am I? Sorry, uh, you know what? Give it to Dave. Yeah. Okay. Well, here, I'll, I'll give you the... I'll just do this. We can do this. I'll just use this. Well, hold on. Give me your... I want to make sure it's shuffled. Are you... Like, look through a few of them sure, to sure. make sure they're yeah, not yeah, the yeah. same. That one works. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, Steve. Yeah. Show it to the main cam. Like, show it to all the cameras. We don't know which one it's looking at. All right. I'll put it down. Okay. Beautiful. It's off camera? Yeah, yep. it's off camera. You ready? All right, let's just... Uh... Oh, it's me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do I love the Imperium? No. no. Do I? Am I thinking noodles? No. Am I an orc? No. no. Love chaos? No. no. Greater good? No. no. 
That's all there is. No, no, no. no, this... no, no. 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 You love these guys. Stop, stop it, Luca. <laughs> me. No. no. You say meat and me. Hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's you pick up everyone except one race. <laughs> it's true, actually. Other, is, You're going to kick is yourself. Race. Yeah. Yes. The only one you missed. It's the most important the, the, one. The dwarf dudes? No. Oh. Oh. It's not that a skier. Dwarf <laughs> Stow. Think. Eldar. Deep. Mm -hmm. You didn't say that one. You didn't, I didn't say, say that one? You didn't say that one? It's Necrods, it's okay? Necrons, it's Necrons. It's Necrons. It's Necrons. So you're a Necron. Okay, am I an infantry guy? Yes. 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 Am I a uh, royal court? Uh, no. Uh, don't know what that ooh, means. No. no, you wouldn't be. No. Be. No. no. Um, you sure? Not an optic? No. It's only character. Half, uh, half type. Uh, so am I, would it be an HQ in the game? No. No. Elite in the game? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Triarch? No. No. Lich guard? Yes. Yes. There you go. Okay, give him the next one. Next. Close your eyes. Close back. Your eyes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Just show us this next one. You can have some extra time. Uh, cool. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna switch to this so that they can see it now. Hold it up. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. Go back to me. Okay. And... All right. Uh, do I love the Imperium? Nope. I no. Think noodles. Nope. No. Green skin. No. No. Eldar. No. No. Necrons. No. No. Tau. No. no. Ashmel Terum. No. no. Uh, did I say Necrons? No. Nope. Uh, you did man? say Necrons, but no. No. Nope. Nope. I forget any Eldar. Tau. You didn't forget any Xenos. So I'm not Xenos. No. Oh. You I don't love the Empire. No, yes. you don't love yes. the Empire. Yes. Yes. Okay, keep going. My infantry? Uh, yes. You are in infantry, yeah. All right, power armor? Yes. yes. Uh, psychic powers? No. no. I, typically line to a god? Yes. yes. Huh? Berserker? No. no. Not quite. Uh, Demonkin? Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. You're probably one of the best berserkers. <laughs> My name character? Yes. Yeah. Card? My yeah. Yeah. Card, yeah. Yeah. Next one. Next one. No, no, that's it. Time's up. Oh, that, that's it already. Oh, is that it? Okay. Steve's got a monumental two points. You got such a good one, Steve. Oh, so good. All right. All right. I was thinking noodles. Okay. You need a noodle juice? Extra cream. You're in an extra cream. Warbiker. I'm not gonna remember Warbiker. Okay. Let's vote. Do we do one more round? I would oh, love Matt to. Matt hasn't gone. I would love. You want yeah, me to Matt go? Hasn't went yet. Okay. Actually, well, true. Matt I, should. Yeah, choose, choose uh, two or three for me because I don't care how hard or easy they are. Well, just shuffle them and just put them over. There's like a hundred of these, so while I did technically type them all out, it's it's just I just went. Okay, to... we did one test off camera earlier. Yeah, and you couldn't get it. That's, right. That's so fair. that's fair. Yeah, because it's like I, I could be like, oh yeah, I remember yeah, I writing Orc White Warbreaker. It's like oh. no. So if I pick it up, there you go. Oh. And if I pick it up like this, that's right. That yeah. is correct. Oh man, half the game is just getting into the headband. You're good. That was very smooth. All right, that was pretty good. Actually, I'm proud. Yeah, we see it. You yeah. see it? We're good. Yep. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Am I Xenos? No. no. Imperium? No. No. Chaos. Yes. 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 All right. Uh, do I belong to a specific god? No. no. My name character? No. 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 Okay. So, chaos something. Am I HQ? No. No. Troop? No. Like, no. like infantry, I should say. You're yes. infantry. infantry. Infantry, but not battle line. Uh, Terminator? No. Okay. Uh, do I like close combat typically? Yes. Yeah. Like more than shooting. Uh, yeah. Am I wearing yeah. power armor? You're very yes. good at yes. both. I'm wearing power armor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the power armor does something. Mm. Am I currently possessed? No. 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 Currently. Chaos. I like that. Frick. Do I? So I like close combat. Do I? Do I have a jetpack? No. Or do I no. fly? No. no. Frick. But I do have power armor, so I'm not a cultist. Am I just a regular chaos space marine? No. 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 Um, uh, I'm not battle line. You said. No. I'm elite. Yeah. Cast chosen. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. okay. It's awesome. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know if I just turned it. Is that, a, is that upside down? No. That's okay. correct. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Xenos? Nope. No. Nope. Uh, Imperium? Nope. No. Nope. Chaos? Yes. Yes. Name character? Nope. No. Nope. Belong to a specific god? No. No. Nope. Uh, infantry? Yep. Yeah. Uh, HQ? Yep. Yeah. Cast Lord? Yes. yes. <laughs> Are you two out of time? He's out of time. He's out of time. That's not a lot of time. It's just not a lot of time. Who made this game? It's like no time. Yeah, geez. And you it felt like hard. You're efficient with your questions too. Yeah, it well, that's like I learned from all your questions. Was that two minutes? Was I that... don't. I don't like I... asking the roles. I like the, the obscure yeah, I was questions. Say, I know. In a, right? in a previous edition of the game that we're doing a lore shore for, was this an elite choice? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. There's there's something about that. But that's that's you know in future um, episodes if we're doing something it might we might do this type of game again but it won't necessarily be faction units yeah. it might just be like could be something completely different like weapons or it could be whatever it happens to be we're going to go right back to the maelstrom in a moment first we've got to tell you more about ravage star which is our tabletop miniature war game that we are developing creating the rule set for it matt 
there's no better person to create the rules than Matt. Think about it, right? He's done over 70 narrative campaigns. He knows how to write rules. We're doing feedback from you guys. We're doing play testing. By the way, miniwargaming.com slash Ravage Star. You can submit your own uh, feedback for play testing. The rules are available for you to download. And these are the miniatures that you get. So the late pledge is open. Link in the description below for you to take a look at all the models that are available. There's hundreds, literally hundreds, and it will be a thing on the channel. So thank you so much for your support. Now back to the Maelstrom. Lorehammer. This is the segment where we talk about, you know, different topics. And today we'll talk about what GW would make a new faction as. So if we were, uh, that was really improper. Wording. <laughs> I stumbled over that, but we are GW. Okay. We are responsible for making a new faction. Dark Mechanicum is my answer. No one can take it from me. Space Josh. Gaven. <laughs> Oh, Space, Space Gaven. Gaven. That's all. Space Gaven is also my Woo. answer. No one can take that from me. By the way, leave your comments below, guys. Okay, vault members, channel members, leave your suggestions. But we want to dive into it as well. We're super curious. So Space Gaven. So Space Rats. That that's the that's Steve's idea. So, well, I'll let Steve talk. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, I had no, no, nothing no, more, more to more add. add. I had nothing more to add. I was gonna say nothing. Why, Steve? You, you could take the existing Skaven and just put them in 40k. Would they burrow yeah, they through they the orcs? webway? Would they burrow through the webway? Is that your idea? Why not? In fact, the models, like the, the technology, I'm air quoting here. Let me switch this. The technology on the models looks more advanced than the Admech. The yeah, Admech. you know what? Sometimes it does. <laughs> <laughs> got, like magic I don't know. science crystals. I don't know if Josh agrees. He, he doesn't look like no, I'm just thinking about the, the nice, like, um, Advent rifles with the wooden stocks. They're yeah, right. Exactly. That's just, they're not wooden. They're, they're like low tech. It's just glassy. It's, it's like some sort of metallic wood hybrid molecule. You can't molecules. say it's not wood. It's metallic wood. You used wood in the descriptor <laughs> of it. <laughs> I like the steampunk Admech, even though I, I don't I do them. as well. I like their the, the, the wood stocks and everything is kind of nice. All right, like, so Space Skaven, Dark Mechanicum. I would assume that what Steve means by Space Skaven also would be like the, the mechanics I'd expect for the Dark Mechanicum, where it's like big, big tech with like no regard for safety. Okay, hold on. Can we just take Space Skaven and they're part of the Dark Mechanicum now? Absolutely. Oh, there we yeah. go. Everything they would be. They want. It's an ocean nightmare is the, the <laughs> faction. So it's not a new, it's like the crew to the town. It's not actually a new faction. It's just like it a It would whole, be like, well, they'd have like. Oh, that's offensive to the crew there, Dave. I don't care. <laughs> it would be uh they deserve representation <laughs> they're worse than rotten fish like in my opinion it oh, would be man. uh they eat be, the rotten fish it'd be a lot of really smart mutants that are they just look like rats they work from the mechanicum the dark side well it's interesting you should say that too because like talking dark mechanicum or things along those lines like i've always thought it'd be interesting to have a real faction of imper like non-imperium humans that aren't chaos like oh, renegades essentially yeah but not renegades in the chaos sense like you know some humans just don't want to live in this awful imperium there's a lot of worlds. that doesn't sound right there's a lot of worlds right? like that not you josh obviously mr uh <laughs> emperor, <laughs> emperor, <laughs> the, emperor <laughs> the emperor is the emperor is mighty the emperor sounds, is that, awesome that sounds a lot like heretic talk uh, I love wait, 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 the emperor. Josh, can the imperium do any wrong it literally says what do I mean? Can't. Exactly. What do you mean? I think that according, according to my, my prayer book, it cannot. Of course it can. like, literally no. look at that poster over there. It says we can. No, it's <laughs> we, we can have conversations. Yeah, the thing we can do wrong is have conversations about humans existing that aren't loyal to the emperor. That's, that's <laughs> but we had we had this opportunity. So when the, the galaxy got split in half um, from oh, the, yeah, the big yeah. giant warp storm and the uh, one side went dark, I thought it would be really cool for that just to become, and I, it kind of has, it, it really kind of has, but I mean like factions on the table where they just introduced a bunch of new human factions. Kind of like how you have Necromunda, right? Like Necromunda is, is humans fighting, humans fighting, humans fighting, humans fighting, whatever else happens to show up. But they're not all united in this Imperium thing. So what's the idea? What's the idea? It, it, would, be, it would be like, it could be like this. Okay, it could be a lot of things. It could be a pirate faction. It could be... Um, so it's humans. But it, not just humans. Here's the other thing too. It could just be like a almost like a federation thing where <laughs> humans okay. join a bunch of other Xenos races and they also maybe get some space scaven. They're not chaos. Some of them turn to chaos. You can have the chaos version of these too. The humanoids. No, they're humans. They have emotions. Humans. humans. So humans. they are humans. They are humans, like primarily, and then they might join with other races. But it's it's like it's like a what mercenaries. Me, sure, not necessarily. We're talking I like, don't know what you're trying to say. <sighs> It's like you I, know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but there's like a, a federation. Lot, there's a lot of evidence of that that already. So Star Trek exists. is the new faction. So you're basically saying but that's like, so happy is Star Trek. In the lore, what you're you're kind of envisioning is that there's a civil war with the Imperium after <laughs> yes. the split, and that yeah. So Imperium civil war is yeah, what you, but not chaos versus not chaos. 
What are you laughing at? It's so not. So we're gonna take a we're gonna take a break from beating up the chaos to just beat up other. Humans. No, but but Luca, you know what's going on. I no, there's I know exactly what Matthew okay. is saying. The Imperium, no, the Imperium is no, so no, no. huge. Luca, Luca, explain what Matt's saying. No, he's doing. He's, I don't <laughs> understand what he's saying. He's, okay, so there's lots of evidence of these planets already. Like so during. It's like before the Horus Heresy, humanity conquered the galaxy, but there was a big dark age where they lost contact with each other, and a lot of those planets thrived on their own, and they never got brought back into the fold. Like, during the Great Crusade, they did not meet up with all of the humans. Mm -hmm. In 40K today, there are a lot of human-occupied planets. I'll call them empires. It might be two or three planets that are all really close to each other that are separate from the Imperium. They just don't have any rules in the game to represent them right because i would figure that you would just do like an astro militarum army and be like they're not part of the imperium they're like their own thing but you could I'm not go just, further but, with but it could be yet. space marines too like oh because space okay. marines can fall to chaos yeah then their indoctrination is not fail uh, like it's not uh foolproof right do you yeah. agree with that josh well, yeah. there's, there's evidence. I, I, I've got a different idea of accomplishing what Matt's trying to do, but I'm trying to let him get yeah. it. It's like, well, like, okay, so, so like, kinda... let's say you have a civil war kind of thing, but you split it. Like, if you take, like, let's say 50,000 systems, right, which is out of the 100 million plus, it's not a huge number, but it's still a huge number. Like, if the Tau are a faction, how many systems do they have? I don't think like they have 20 a lot. or 30? Yeah, they don't got a lot going on. Right, and they're a many. faction on the table. And they have 20 or... Th like, that's a nonsense faction. Well, they're pretty unique <laughs> enough. Like, I agree. They, right. Or unless they wanted to do appeal to... No, no, no. Like, like I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I'm, not against, <laughs> I'm not against them having Tau on the table, but if, like, if you can have Tau, then why not also have, like... On other factions that are like What kind that. of models would you use for that, though? You'd come up with new ones. Like, look at the new Cities of Sigmar line for Age of Sigmar. Gorgeous models. They're humans. They're the new Cities of Sigmar, but they look nothing like the Empire models that were their precursors, right? I think they just look like strictly better versions of those Empire models. You know, you're not wrong. <laughs> so a new Astro Militarum line, but we'll call them something else. But okay, I think so it would be really get what you're saying. Yeah, but like yeah. imagine like they're also there's Xenos in it. Imagine yeah, there's like X, other X Space things. Marines. X Space Marines are part of them too. X Mechanicum are part of them. So it's like all the people who've had enough it's the of the totalitarian regime and create their the own. Totally cool is what you're saying. Yeah, they're totally cool. No, they'll, totally they'll create cool their own dictatorships. Yeah. Don't worry. They they'll suck too. Go that way too. Yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll suck too. And some of them will fall to chaos. And, and they'll probably in the end lose because you can't fight chaos divided like that. What right? would you name this faction? Oh, I don't know. The Federation. Does this the, Federation. the Federation. What kind of rules would so, they have, though? I, I don't know. It's, it, I, yeah. That's that's easy. They just, they just plop him down and be like, that's a dude. So he's got the same so, rules as kind of like the Astro Militarum, but that's a space marine dude. It sounds like it's everything. It's a, mostly humans, but... Oh, no Necrons, though. But why or they have robots? Or like, Tyranids. You, you said I'd have to stay here because... There's something there. I was, I was, I was gonna say because the, the the way that I would accomplish humans that weren't part of the Imperium is do it the. I mean, like it's kind of ripping off BattleTech to a degree, but have that subset of humanity that still has the golden age of technology. Technology. Oh. That have been cut off from the Imperium. So the idea would be so you've got all these warp storms and all that. So if there was a new human faction that came in for whatever reason that said like no we're the true heirs of the imperium yes Ooh. i'm the pre i am the president of the imperium of love that. the human empire like yeah we we don't know about this whole emperor business or anything like that we're here from the golden so age. not even space marines no this because is, this it's is pre different. space marines so this is humans from the because we're in more hammer 40k these are like humans from the year 20,000 yeah. or something yeah we do, we and they can even have ai and stuff like that and all that they yeah. so have you, the men of iron you, still yeah, yeah. Well, men it's marching out any of that we do have all that in the current timeline that's the, but not as a faction on the could, table. We, yeah, we do actually. We could talk about this in the Rickon a little bit, but this is the um, the leagues of Votan. Leagues of Votan. That's right essentially now. what the leagues of Votan yeah. are. So yeah. it's humans. They evolved. Down, yeah. Um, advanced technology from the Age of Darkness, uh, evolved separately from the Imperium. Uh, it, it's everything you guys discussed about how the technology could have went, and also like all of the Ashmal terms could be any of this like because yeah of course but this is what you're talking about you'd rather okay. be more like human well, I, 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 okay. just like elevated humans to a whole different level though. Yeah, yeah, yeah no I like that that's like really that. good the fact that simultaneously you both went ah oh. yeah like it's cool. like oh yeah that is a good idea I, I was always kind of hoping they would do like a uh a Great Crusade version of the Horus Heresy too where you can play all the le legions during the Great Crusade then there'd be and bring in actual Xenos factions that you're fighting. That would factions. be, yeah. Or bring, in the, or bring in the human colonies they're trying to conquer. Because, like, often the human colonies they're trying to bring into the Great Crusade 
to join the Imperium were way more advanced than they were because they had that technology still, mm -hmm. but they were just vastly outnumbered. <laughs> yeah, well, the Imperium was a lot more organized. Yeah, these, way these more civilizations organized. Yep. have been cut off for a long and time. They uh, did have a start as well. Well, it's, it's basically, we're basically yeah. talking about yeah. Tau, a mixture of Tau. We're talking about a mixture of leagues, leagues of OTAN, but just with a new flavor, which is but what any cool. faction really so is. Pause but for, they're cool. Yeah. Pause for a second. Okay, so Leagues of OTAN, that's the newest faction in 40K. Yeah. Right? So give me a Cole's Notes on their lore. Because uh, I know be, very little be other than Steve, Space Dwarf. Steve short hit him on the head earlier, yeah. So the Leagues of OTAN are humans from the Age of Darkness. Correct me if I'm wrong on that timeline. Is that right? Look at the Age of Darkness? It was before the Age of Darkness. Before yeah. the Great Crusade that left yeah. off Earth and went off in whatever. They were one of the expansionists. Yeah, so yeah. the Votan are actually these uh, giant AI machines that these humans... I'm not sure if worship is right. They they, they, they learn to evolve with. Machine spirits? Uh, no, they're does, simply not machine spirits. They're AI. Does anyone know who and made the Votan? Machine spirits are essentially AI, that, too, though. I'm unaware of the answer to that question. All right. But either way, these humans have evolved, have been uh, broken down and recloned to uh, keep, you know... Expanding the Botan Empire, so they have probably the best technology in the empire. Or sorry, in the universe currently, um, and they're they actually are humans, but they're cloned down to be a smaller size in their little cloning capsules. Caps. Why? Uh, because the Botan, not not for retcon purposes, because the actual Botan has discovered that that smaller stature is better for surviving the void of space. So they like the mind. Take up less space. Minerals. You can make smaller spaceships. Um, yeah, they're just best technology. Uh, they, more they, efficient. They, they do believe AI and robots are equal. They are not lesser or more. They are like a, a, a little robot friend is is a person hmm. and has as much rights as the Votan and, and whatnot. Interesting. So, but they are actually humans that left uh, Terra thousands, and thousands of years ago. So evolved to the tens of thousands. They, 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 yeah. are, they are the, the little dwarves are the leagues right. of the Votan. Right. Votan are the AI machines. Oh, okay. I see. So yeah, we're, I see. We're, we're we're talking about like the little human dwarf. So yeah. what are the dwarves called then? Uh, I Ken. don't believe. Yeah, they, Ken. Ken. I can't remember. Squats. They, well, are they, they were called squats. No, no, actually, no squats. not now. Why are they not called squats? Yeah, that's another thing. That's squats are different. Squats still exist. So they're not squats. So the squats are the offshoot. The things they that were cloned by the Votan, but yeah. they left the Votan. Yeah. Okay. So, that, so they, they are them. They have Imperium technology, but they are not as uh, if, like they don't have the technology of the rest of the leagues. So they're the same genetic makeup. They just have different tech. Yeah, I believe, if I, I could be wrong about this, but I believe their Votan, their specific Votan, uh, destroyed, got lost or something like that. So they're cut off from the actual Votan. Right. I could be wrong about that, but something like that. Okay. So do it's they pretty make, cool stuff. Can they yeah. make more AI? Can they make more machines? I don't know if they know how to make the Votan. So who governs yeah. them? I think they just govern them. The Wait, the Ken or the, the Votan? Votan? So the AI governs them? Yes. Yeah. They found them. They, they were very like I think benevolent. It seems and like they were welcoming to They're the humans. Probably the only one good guy in the galaxy. Or the Votan, like the Tau was when they first came out, and then Game Virtual will wreck on them in about five years, ten years, and make them bad guys like everybody else. Well, they I don't know. Like they have a lot of like indoctrination in there, kind of like yeah, I don't know if yeah, they were good guys. That's the good guys really. So they were all the, the Ethereals were always kind of iffy. What's their What's their purpose or goal? What are they trying to do? In I the don't galaxy? know actually. My survive. Side. Are they just trying to yeah. survive? They're not a conquering species. They're not a it conquering. Seem like it. Yeah. Well, they're, they're just not efficient. Like they're like AI. They're it's merchants. not efficient, right? Like it's one of those like why conquer? We don't need to. We're yeah. Not every oh. faction has to be a conquering faction, right? Like that can get kind of dry. The AI. If can... everything exists just to conquer each other, yeah. then where's the where's the kind of variety? Well, you, you could be like I'm an explorer and like yeah. Well, you usually that. conquer to solve an issue, right? You're like strained. You need more resources. The AI finds a different way around it. Or yeah. it's not that they don't conquer. Yeah. It's just more like, as far as we know, and I haven't read a ton of their lore yet. It's not they're not like looking to take over the galaxy. It's not like the Tau. The Tau would like to take over the galaxy, and, yeah. and bring, and, but yeah. not by killing everybody, but by bringing them all into the fold of the greater good. Chaos want to take over the galaxy by corrupting them to chaos. Imperium want to take over the galaxy. Well, they did take over the galaxy. Now they're trying to hold on to it. So they thought. Yeah. Well, they, they're trying to. And then the orcs are just having a great time. Pretty dang good run, though. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't carry it. laughs> I think the orcs are programmed to fall apart once they get too, too big because then they lose their purpose, which was to keep chaos at bay, but if not kill everything. So I heard your idea. I heard your idea. And then Steve as well. Space Gaven. What's your, what, what would you do? Uh, well, I was talking about like, they kind of touched on the dark mechanic a little bit with Bash Door coming out and had like a, 
a little special army rule, like Army Renown, where he played with demon engines a lot. Yeah. But essentially what I want to see is something like this, how the space gave and would play mechanically is I want to take the, uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus, but flip it for the Dark Mechanicum where they make all these machines and all these war engines, but they have no safety regards or they don't care. They turn off all the safeties. They're, they're, like, they're, they're just as willing to sacrifice their own guys to deal damage to the enemy. Iron Warriors? Effectively iron, but weird, nasty, chaos, demon engine things. Iron warriors? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they yeah. do. Yeah. Every, everything gets hot. Everything gets it's hot. It's always yeah. turned. If they, they have, have if they have a plasma gun, there's the setting has been jerry rigged, so it's always effectively, at the highest it setting. Would be, it would be what the iron warriors do currently, but more of a human scale of it, I suppose, as okay. opposed to the Siege. Yeah. More yeah. like, it'd just be like a lot of like, not cultists, but like, imagine like the little adnet guys. But they're like weird chaos looking guys instead. They're kind of creepy. And they say chaos is strong as they float around the battlefield so with their weird mechanical arm. What what ad mech is to Space Marines now? You want correct. these yeah. guys to be the, the Iron the, Warriors kind of. Correct. Like the cultists to the Iron Warriors. Like Dark Mechanicum? Of, yeah, Dark Mechanicum. Dark, That's Dark exactly Mechanicum. what I would like. But yeah, all yeah. the servitors look like rats. Yeah. They just like their arm their their basic troops are just like corrupted servitors, essentially. So Dark Mechanicum. No free will, no nothing. Yeah. In the lore. Is there a dark mechanicum? Yeah, that yeah, absolutely. Fleshed absolutely. Out yep. that oh, for sure. Really yeah. could be its own faction. Yep, yep, yep. yep. It's you not can, fleshed out. You can you oh, can yeah. play an admech army as a dark mechanicum army. There's, they have the okay. same. They have the same like goal. You just won't be able to bring the demon engines in. That's the problem. Yeah, you would. You'd be lacking demon engines. You'd have like. But I would like to see a model line for that with some rules along those lines. That's cool. Yeah, that'd be a cool one. So here's a question. That's one I wanted for a while. Here's a question for you all: Is there a race in the lore? That pre exists, that is like a dragon race, it's like a cobalt race. That you, you know, take handle <laughs> <laughs> the world of Warcraft forever. Yeah, I'll admit you know, that I don't get handle. that. I don't, get you that. know, take handle. <laughs> but is there anything close to that? Dragons, besides like, like you know, like some of the tiered flyers, they kind of look like dragons, or you look at the hell drake that's kind of dragon esque. I it's know that's not mechanical. that's not what you're asking though. You're yeah, asking, is there like a true dragon race? I think there. Uh, you're, are you talking one that's like intelligent and established or things like that, or just are there equivalent to dragons and? So in the same way that like space wolves are wolves, is there a race that exists that is like one on Mars? <laughs> the big one. There's, there's the one, one on really Mars. big one. Yeah. One really big one. Yeah. Well, there's like see 40k like the, the game barely touches like the surface of what in the lore they have available. There's like entities that exist in like nebula clouds and like space they have like the classic space whales and weird monsters and everything so there yeah there's like all that stuff exists alien yeah. remember those animals weird, like big brain suck bug things what are those called the enslavers those? enslavers those are yep. horrifying those exist enslavers sound terrifying yeah they're pretty bad like there's a lot of weird things that kind of stuck around like there's space vampires and all that stuff there's well like there's a, a practicality of, of how many models you can make right you can only go and so how far. half of them have to be space marines because that, yeah. they sell the best and so they're never going to be able to explore that with the model line. But I mean, you might be able to, you can explore that in role playing games. So that's what Rogue when, you, when you open up role playing games, yeah. you read their stuff. That's where you find the cool lore. Seriously, that's where when I would write my uh, narrative campaigns, that's where I would dive into. That's where I found the enslavers. Yeah. So and we made models for them and everything ourselves. Um, and so there's there's a there is a sea of information out there if you if you jump into the books and into the role playing games because there's no limit. To what you can put into a book and whether they can represent that on the table though well that's there's a limit there's mold costs sure. and there's inventory yeah. and there's are there enough people to buy it right yeah. right so like we're fantasizing here so that's fine but um the answer to the question is probably always yes is this does this exist in 40k i think yes has it been written about maybe yeah <laughs> it's because well, there's a lot of books actually that's true it's maybe it's been written about. It's, it's probably it's, it's been a lot of too. back in like the 80s do you remember all those weird molds they were just pumping up so many weird molds there were all a couple there. oddball ones just to, to represent like literally everything they could possibly think of for 40k and fantasy especially one of my favorite ones is the wizard with the machine gun yeah wizard with some machine <laughs> gun. wizard with such a cool model there was like space vampires there was like yeah there was a bunch there's... of weird things but they just no one bought them because they had such a a vast variety of models. It's like I'm not going to buy. Well, they were they were coming from Dungeons and Dragons, right? Yeah. And so in that line, if you watch the same thing has happened to them, that if you look at all the models that are available, it's all over the place. Like you got Cthulhu horror, you got yeah. steampunk, you got everything, right? You, you you imagine it's in there. But once again, that's one of the strengths of that universe. Like you want your universe to have a theme, 
but sometimes it's fun to play in these almost almost themeless universes. I don't want to like say that in an insulting way to Warhammer because I don't think that's what it is. I think that's what happens over forty years is that you end up having discussed everything. Like, tell me a sci-fi concept, and it ex- and it's been written about or pro- predominantly exists in forty k. Whether it's time travel or cloning or you know fill in the blank, right? You know, demons and magic and everything. So I think that's a strength though. So yeah, so no dragons though. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I know. I always thought it would be cool to do like the maiden worlds for the Eldar, where it's like Eldar riding dinosaurs. The Exodites. That cool. That's a dream. Exodites. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Exodites. Yeah. yeah. They used to. Exist. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Second yep. edition used to have all these things we were talking yeah. about. Dark Mechanicum. All like that Eldar stuff. riding dragon yeah. or Eldar riding dinosaurs. In that case, you could probably get a dragon. Yeah, because that would mm. fit. Yeah, it totally would. I want that whole line right there. Yeah, I would, I would be into that one. That'd be cool. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we then you can lean into like Triceratops and like do like kind of bold bull dragons and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah, like flying cool. dragons. And, yeah, it'd be kind of cool. If they breathe fire. T Rex. One race I was gonna say that was gonna be my pick for wanting to see a faction I should get flushed out, and I'm gonna butcher the name because I don't know if I've ever heard it like said, uh, but the. Rudd, H R U D. Rudd. Originally, <laughs> the artwork for them made them look like Space Gaven. And they decided back, I want to say it was around fourth edition, they went away from that and they actually showed what these things look like. Uh, and it was another like intelligent alien race that had that like technology vibe of the Skaven, if I'm remembering right, where it's a lot of like really crazy technology the Imperium doesn't have, but it's not necessarily safe. But this is like a true like locust swarm kind of horde race so it doesn't matter that technology is not a safe thing because yeah. they they die on mass all the time anyways and i know that there's been talk in the lore about the imperium having issues with their i think their migrations essentially from place <laughs> to place but uh, yeah i would have loved to see that get expanded out and i haven't heard them talked about in 40k lore in a while so i don't think i'm going to get it but there's so many factions for 40k with models now too yeah they're getting pretty close to what they had in second what are they up to? Uh, are they close tw- to 30? It's, it's over 20 now. Well, if you count every Space Marine chapter as a faction. I would count as one, maybe. Then you're not at 30. Then you're not at 30, then. Oh, I guess, no, you would have to count them all. Yeah, yeah because be like, it's like yeah. they, they share 90% of yeah, their ranges. They just have a few extra models. I guess, yeah, Space, space Wolves. Yeah, same. and same thing with Chaos. You only really have two Chaos factions, Chaos Space Marines and Chaos Demons. Um, and then, Chaos Knights. It's Chaos Knights. Okay. Oh, sorry, and Chaos okay. Knights. Let's yeah. separate it by the Codexes. Right. No, but that's, that's to me, that's because world eaters, for example, they have a few things that are world eaters, and then the rest of the stuff they use are just from the Chaos Space Marines. But Death Guard, they have such a unique range that the you Death can't Guard are probably one of the Death Guard are probably more developed. Absolutely. So world eaters will yeah. get more fleshed out. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. really, it's how many codexes exist. But some of the codexes in the Space Marine side have oh, like, like 20 hardly anything unique to them. And the rest is just their range, and you paint them differently. So. So it's 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 you know it's murky it's it's yeah. whether or not you call them different factions is really your what you want to look at. But if you look at it from Games Workshop's point of view, it's number of molds, it's number of skews, right? That's going to be their definition of what they keep and what they get rid of, like how they good question. get rid of a lot of the old Space Marines because there was just too many of them. But yeah, all right. I think that's the end of today's episode. And thank you very much, Vault members and members of the channel for supporting this show and just tuning in to all this fun factor. So, you know what? Out of curiosity, out of all the ideas that have been tossed around, let's put them in the, in the comments and just vote on them. Thumb them up. Just curious to see what you guys would think and what you would uh, want to see as a new faction as well. And leave your ideas for future shows and segments because we'll toss it all around and we'll just throw it up in the air and see what catches. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Happy Wargaming. Be sure to check out even more in the Mini Wargaming Vault. You can binge as much as you want there. Links in the description below for that. And if you're not a Vault member, by becoming a Vault member, you show us that you support the show, that you like it, and you want to see more of it. You can also leave your comments and suggestions as to what you would like to see us cover in the future, because there's a lot of topics that we can actually dive into. You know this is a fact. There's a rich tapestry of lore and information to dive into and to disseminate and to like chop up and to make into a salad and to throw at you and to eat and to digest and to make it into biomass and do all the things that we like doing here on the show. Thank you very much and happy wargaming.